Greetings, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create custom drum templates. With a new project, you get a default drum set, including a kick, snare, etc. This is in fact a drum template. You can load that same template from the Add Track button and by choosing Drum Sequencer. And here are the factory drum templates. In fact, back up a level, they're in the Drum Templates folder. Once we create our custom template, there will be a new folder here to choose from. We'll see that in a moment. For now, I'll load a basic kit. And as I have two basic kits, I'll long tap on the track header to delete the lower one. Okay, so let's start from a blank slate and delete the existing drums. Long tap on the track headers and select Delete. Next, let's add the drum samples to the template. Tapping the plus button will open the sample library. Notice the My Samples folder. This is where you can add your own custom drum sounds. It won't show unless you've already done that. I've put a link in the video description with information on how you can import samples into FL Studio Mobile. In fact, why not start with My Samples and load a kick? Once I tap off the menu, you can see the kicks loaded into the first track. Okay, let's load a factory snare sound. Excellent. And I'll just go back and grab my clap too. My needs are simple and you're short on time, so let's call that complete. To save these as a template, close the step sequencer and long tap on the drum track header. Then save template. I'll call it Quack Drums, because why not? Now when I start a new project and add a track type of drum sequencer, I get the load template menu. So back up a level, there I can see my drum sets. And in that folder is the Quack Drums template. Kick, snare, and clap. I'll just delete the existing drum set and drag my custom drums to the top. And I'm ready to start work on the new project. With that, I hope you enjoy creating and working with custom drum templates.